this is a simple experiment. Here we are using a crocin tablet dissolved in doubly ionized water. We use this solution to help in synthesizing gold nanoparticles. Obviously we need a gold salt. Without gold salt we won't be able to synthesize the gold nanoparticles. But we use this crocin solution to help in synthesize the gold nanoparticles. You can see clearly this is the crocin water, that is a crocin tablet dissolved in water and this is the gold salt solution. So we will add gold salt solution incrementally to this solution and we will see how this can be done. So let's start with the experiment. First I had about 25 here this is the micro pipette. We add 25 microliters of gold salt solution into this solution as you can see. So we have, we have transferred 25 microliters using this micro pipette of gold salt solution into this test tube. And let us see how. Now let us shake this using an automatic shaker. We need facilities like this to help in the synthesis because if we shake by hand it will take a longer time. So we shake that and let's see whether the color changes or not. As you can see, let's, let's focus on the test tube. We can see it is neither whitish nor yellowish. Remember the crossing water was white in color whereas the gold salt solution was yellowish in color and you see, as you can see the, the color is changing can you see that the color is changing so let's continue the shaking for some more time and you will see that the color changes to some sort of red and purple mixed together which indicates the formation of the gold nanoparticles here it is yeah the color is changing Please focus, you can see that the color has changed. It's neither white nor yellowish in color. It is a sort of uh, purple and pink in color. That indicates the formation of gold nanoparticles. In fact, with the passage of time, it will become more intense. And let's continue the shaking for some more time. We need such instruments to perform this experiment. That's why I decided to do it in a, in a lab in, at IIT Metros. This lab belongs to Professor Mukesh Dobley in the Department of Biotechnology. He was, he was very kind to help me do this experiment and you can see here the color has changed. So we, here we are. So we used a crocin tablet to help in the synthesis of gold nanoparticles. Now, what is the implication of this experiment? Now, you, we all know that plenty of paracetamol is produced annually. To be precise, uh, around 1,45,000 tons of paracetamol is produced annually. We don't know how much of it is getting date expired. And we normally send it back to the manufacturer and they dispose it off in a way that is allowed by law. But what I am suggesting to those manufacturers is that these chemicals can be used for the synthesis of gold nanoparticles or any a range of other nanoparticles. And these nanoparticles can be used for a lot of industrial applications. So that way we reuse these chemicals instead of disposing them in any, in any other way that may, be, uh, that, may, that, may, that may be harmful to the society, we don't know but we, can, we have found a good use for those date expired medicines. But of course we did it using a valid crocin tablet because uh, it's illegal to possess expired tablets. So we, I used a valid tablet to do this experiment but the principle is clear because when a tablet expires the active ingredient is still there. It is only the filler material that gets, uh, that gets loosened and therefore we can use that active ingredient for such for these nanoparticle synthesis applications. That's the end of my experiment. Have a good time.